Um, this also comes with a. Um, I really have to learn how to use that. Okay. If you can see here, the focuser. The focuser. Come, it comes with an extension tube that threads on, so that viewing with an eyepiece is done better. The, um, I guess you know there has. A certain amount of throw with this little rack and pinion. It's a very nice, smooth thus far. It seems very smooth, but I haven't had a chance to look through it, fellas. So, um, and the the cap that when you unthread the extension tube with the, um, I wanted to show you. Well, I can just show it to you. Um, that is threaded on. The the two inch. It's a two inch focuser, and um, it has the um, an inch and a quarter adapter that goes in there, and it's secured by three um, screws that are with the, with the band. What do they call that? Compression ring. Compression ring, yes. It has a compression ring, and also um, this one has a compression ring too, but with one screw, okay? So you don't have to worry about your eyepieces getting marred tonight. Um, it has a uh, five by eight, uh, oh, eight by five fifty, eight by fifty. Binder stole with a lighted reticle. And um, let's see, what else did I want to make mention of? Oh, it comes with a T adapter for cameras. They kind of, uh, they say that this is a fantastic instrument for photography, even though it's F8. I, you know, that's one of the reasons they made it so absolutely rigid. They're really concerned about that. So if you wanted to take pictures, and I think it's like we discussed, there's so many picture, people doing pictures nowadays. So they wanted to make sure that this instrument would be compatible with that as well. So they have a T adapter included, and they have multiples at the website for different cameras, so you can get specific. The, the telescope also comes with a plausal eyepiece of um, 26 millimeter, comes standard with the telescope. So, um, let's see, what else? Oh, I also chose the colors, because we have a, one of our dear members is very color uh, conscious, and it's better to look good in the field, but we know that. So I, when I was choosing these, I was like, you know, that does look so pretty. I saw an example of it. I'm like, oh, that looks so great. But I wanted it not to just look good, but to also give me a good view. We know what a princess I can be about that. So I did the reviews until my eyes were crossed. And evidently, this instrument at F8, in the past, has given, they, they throw this around a lot, refractor-like views. Well, we'll see. I'm, I'm hoping that it'll give me nice, steady views at F8, Chroma is less of, an, of a problem. Um, it'll have a little bit uh, smoother, darker background, perhaps. Um, I can do, at F8, I, it does tolerate lots of magnification. We know that I'm always getting after that magnification. I'm at 300 if I can get there, you know. And this instrument can tolerate that, whereas a faster instrument usually can't. Or at least I, in my, my history, it's been a problem with faster Newtonians. So. Um, I really believe that this is going to be the instrument for me because it has enough aperture to give me good views of the, especially the Messier, which this is called the Bristol Messier. I can show the kids Messier objects easily in this telescope. It has enough aperture to give me enough light to make it interesting looking, and it's small enough where I can manage it. That was a key feature, too. I don't want to get too much scope where I need help getting it in and out of the car, help getting it in and off of the, the mountain. I'm going to be learning how to use this mount, <coughs> thanks to my friends, but I'm going to, you know, make sure I say, hey, how do I do this? How do I do that? So I'm really happy with the choice I made on the mount because it can carry more weight and it will be more rigid and sturdy. So, and, and anybody have any questions? Take the what is this Bresser? What is that? Bresser is, is a, um, the parent company of Explorer Scientific. It's the German uh, outfit. Oh, you have Scientific. a big box there. So. I have a but it's not made by me. No, 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 no. This is not made by me. This is distributed. The, the outer box is me, but the inner box is the Explorer Scientific. But the outer box, the, the, uh, it doesn't say me. Where does, where do you see me? No, it says Bresser on the outer box. It, it says fragile written across there. You know. So Bresser is made by the parent company of Explorer? Yes. <coughs> Those two companies are one and the same. It's the German outfit of Explorer, right? Okay. Can you remove the, uh, the front? Oh, certainly. Case? Of course. Mm -hmm. well, we want one with two. Okay. And of course, made in China. Oh, everything is. So I, that doesn't worry me anymore. Oh, you know, it's 
Chinese people got to eat too. Okay. You just have to deal with the tariffs. Yeah, I got it before the tariffs. That's good. Um, and this has a nice little secondary in there that um, uh, adjusts with the Phillips screw, so I don't need a special Allen wrench, which was the case with my others in the past. So I'm, I'm very happy about that. And the air looks real pretty. <laughs> <laughs> Um, also, uh, the fellow I got this from, he's an eBay vendor. He's been a long time vendor. They call, he calls himself Scope, Scope Head. I've gotten items from him before. And he does have a tendency to get these things from the factory and just redistribute at a, an incredible price. This beautiful tube, if I buy it new from Bresser from Germany right now, it's around $360 just for the optical tube. I got this from Mr. Scopehead, thank goodness, for $199. I paid $40 shipping. So I saved a significant amount of money. I got a beautiful tube. Um, I'm, I'm very happy with the fit and finish. I have to say it's quite remarkable. Um, with the mount, I got it another extremely good price. I got that from Opt. They were running a special. I paid $279 for it. And how do you plan to use it? I'm going to use this with a little um, uh, RA motor on here. It has slow motion controls, which is just beautiful. They're very smooth and very nice. You know, I can move it all around. But when I get it fuller aligned, and um, somebody can you know, help me guide me, I kind of have an idea, because I've done it once before. Mm -hmm. um, and then um, I'm going to put the RA motor on there. So once I get it to the object, I can just ignite the motor. The motor's only $34. Mm -hmm. at, um, uh, where did I get that hammer from? It'll just track. And it'll just track. So I can just, you know, I can like loosen this and I can just get it, get my target, find it. Nancy, our objects are easy to find. I've seen almost all of them in the sky when we're out there. So I can probably find them pretty easy. Mm -hmm. And then um, once I find them and get the thing, I just click on the motor and it'll go. But otherwise, this is a standard manual mount. And um, it, it supports 20 pounds. I think I'm, you know, with, with the tube the way you see it, it's 15 pounds. So I've got room to spare. I can put a two-inch eyepiece on there with easy, if I need to. Um, did you say the OTA is about 200? Yes, I did. And he's got five left. I know. And I kept looking at this, looking at for, for months. I've been looking at his inventory. I'm like, God, ah, those look really cute. He has a five-inch also, the 130. And, I, and it's on a mount together for like 300. And I'm like, oh, that's the whole thing, but that mount is like, you know, right at the edge with that tube on that mount. It's the SO1. And, um, you know. And the mount is, normally this is matched with a mount they sell it as a package. They, yes. What color was the mount? It was white. It was white. If I wanted to get the XO mount, the XO1 mount, he had that for 200 with free shipping. But it only carries 15 pounds. Mm -hmm. So that would have been right at the limit of this tube. And I've learned from you guys and others, you don't put a tube on a mount that's right at the limit. You need that extra room. So uh, that way it's focusing nice and steady. When I focus it, damper time is supposed to be like a second or two on this. So, you know, that's a lot better than what I'm used to. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I probably should get some of those. I don't have any, so I'll need to get those. And these blades extend. I can put this up higher if I wish. I don't see a need. I think I'll just keep it like it is, but I can set it up higher if I need to. Mm -hmm. Only if you were taller. Right. And the kids are going to have to get step ladder with us. So. Yeah. <laughs> you know, what the heck? I'll just leave it like that. It's more rigid with the legs, you know. Is it easy to call me? I have not tried that yet, but it should be. It has, oh, I should tell, I should show you those knobs. Um, yeah. It's got, it's got the big knobs for the collimation, and then it's got lock screws. So, it's, it's real, it's real easy. So you, could you go you through the collimation? Can you rotate all the corners? Okay, excuse me, what? Could you go through the collimation process yet? I have with other plutoniums, so I know how to do that. So I've gotten really good at that with that last one. Yes, and you do the you second the mirror? That's right, what you do is you, you use a laser, and or you could use a cat eye, I've got both, but the laser's you know, good, and then the cat eye you can like dial really tight. But yeah, you, you, you center, the secondary first and get the laser dot on the set and, it, and this this mirror has a center spot another big thing it has the center spot so we're good to go there and then um, so you center it on the center spot and then you you know you have the laser in there and then the laser has a little dial on its face I should have brought it 
Did I? No, I didn't. Okay, so it has a little face, and then that laser, you you use these, the, the, you, you do the primary, and tilt the primary until that laser dot is in the center of the face of the laser. You really wouldn't expect to have to collimate too often, would you? Yeah, you, you have to collimate every time you move it. Yeah. A Newtonian's just, you know, it's just the way it is. And, and I don't have a problem with that. Once you get doing that, it's like, it's like second nature. It's like, you know, combing your hair. It's not a big deal. It's part of the setup. Right. Yeah, with that big, I had that one big 14, and <laughs> I had that gun for us collimating that multiple times a night. <laughs> it looks like there might be a uh, polar scope alignment thing. In there the is. I'm glad you mentioned that. I could put a polar scope in there if I wanted to. Or didn't you try a laser and that, that did yeah, that work? Yeah, I sometimes stick a laser in there, but it's, a, it's an approximation of the laser, right? You, That's true. Unless you can get that laser fixed in the center of the laser. Yeah, yeah. For, and, and who knows? You know. For visual, it's plenty good. Visual's yeah, good enough. Visual and then, fine. So yeah, I guess you get Polaris in the view here, right? Yeah. And then um, this mount has a neat little object that I, one of the other reasons why I chose it, I don't know if other mounts do, I guess they all do. But this has these two little maps here, and it's got a post on the front of the north leg. Mm -hmm. So if I need to adjust azimuth just a bit, I loosen one and tighten the other. And I can wag this thing to make sure that Polaris is right in there. Can we see that wag again? Carol, can you rotate the tube 360 so that we can see the back? Let's, let's do that. Let's find out. <laughs> Does, does, the polar, does the polar scope have a uh, yeah. crosshair in it? You want to see the back? Yes, you see it? I had. I, I saw. Yeah. Okay. Yes. You're just wondering, can I do this? It looks like well, it. well, I, I wanted to see the back. I can. It's so fun. That's what I wanted. I wanted something fun, and I and I do appreciate the suggestions of what everybody was guessing. Uh, it was a, I added it up and I looked them up. It's about thirty thousand dollars worth of stuff. <laughs> I, I guess I could have fun with that, but I think anxiety would take over. So <laughs> this one I can have fun with it. I can I can manage it, put it on the mount. I can show the kids the nice bright objects, and I'm not overwhelmed by size. Although you know, aperture fever lives in the base of our brains. Every one of us, we <laughs> you know that going in. So I, I, I just feel really feel really fortunate that I was able to snare one of these when I could. It's got a great deal. Yeah. I did. I really do feel like it. Thank you for saying that. I feel like I did. It's amazing. Well, it's money. 500 bucks can buy. Isn't it? I mean, this is an amazing piece of engineering. dollars is not that much anymore no, for, it's not. for a telescope, you know. But for 500 bucks, you're getting a real nice mount in a real cheap yeah. gear. It really has. Thank you for saying that, because that's the way I felt. My husband's like, what? You know? I'm like, well, you just don't understand because you don't know what these people are like. But He's like really very supportive. He goes, honey, if it'll get me some fun, go for it. And I thought, yeah, I'm a happy wife. It's a happy That's wife. right. He agrees. <laughs> I'm going to have to add that to my list of uh, suggested scopes for reasonable prices. And uh, people do almost... ask, what's a good scope to start with? Well, a lot of people say this is one. This yes. is a good yes. scope to start with. That's you know, cool. because it does give you enough aperture to see things, mm -hmm. but it's easy to manage. Now, and you know, you can learn an awful lot of that. I, I have that little alt tab mount at home. Remember that FD8. Husband says, well, don't you have a mount you can put this on? I'm like, seriously? No, that's not the one. Oh, no. No. I gotta put my big boy pants on and learn how to operate this. <laughs> Mr. Levy down in Tucson area. That was his go-to scope, was a six-inch Newtonian like this for all the common hunting that he did for all those yeah. years. That's what he would grab, go out, and, and look at stuff. Yeah, you know, and he's like the best of the best. He lives down there in Aspen. He's cool. So you're going to get great contrast with this. That's what they say. I'm and looking more than the view. And you got a smaller secondary. You do. It's, it's still at, I think, 29%, mm -hmm. maybe. Maybe be less than that. 26, maybe. Yeah. yeah. But, um, you know, those are things that I can't wait to look through it. Uh, we probably won't have clear skies now for how long? <laughs> you might get out tonight. Hey, put that sucker on Mars tonight. Yeah. That would be great. That's what, that's what this thing is supposed to really excel with planetary and double stars, things that are my favorites in the whole world. But, you know, it even shows globules very nicely. They say, you know, that it's, it's, it still shows clusters real nice. It doesn't have a super wide view, but enough where I guess at 
with this 26 millimeter plow zone, which is what, 45 degrees? Oh, I, I put that into the calculator. I have a, a, a 26, 70 uh, degree field of view, uh, inch and a quarter eyepiece, and I put in the calculator, and I should be able to get the, the whole Pleiades in there. That's over two degrees. And, right, uh, so I, I think I'm gonna have, and then I've got my hundreds, I won't use my hundreds on it, but you know, I've got lots of other ones that, you know. And Carol, another nice thing, if somebody was handy and wanted to save money, they could buy that tube and then make a daub mount for it, a simple daub mount. You know, some mount. people did, actually. This, mm -hmm. this tube, uh, this style of the six inch F8 is available as a Dobsonian on, mm -hmm. on Skywatcher, maybe, maybe it's Skywatcher. I saw it maybe at one of the other stores, because again, I saw so much inventory when I was just getting ready to, to click. I uh, make sure that, you know, I, I don't have that many options to do this. Let's make sure I don't make the right choice. And I just, I couldn't find a reason not to own the scope. Mm -hmm. So I'm very happy and glad to share it with you guys. Thank you very much. Wow. Thank you, Karen. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.